Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today is Christmas Eve. So I hope you uh, are already where you need to be and you got there safely and soundly um, and enjoy your time with family. I know uh, in some cases it, it can be a, a stressful time, but uh, for me, um, I have a very small family, so I always treasure the time that I get to spend with the family that remains. So, uh, I hope you do too. Okay, so, today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I am not going to be able to pronounce anything correctly about. This beer is from the brewery De Dole Brewers or Di Dole, I don't know, Di Dole Brewers. Uh, and uh, they are based out of Belgium. <laughs> Another Belgian beer, Essen, Essen, Belgium, possibly. Um, but this is their, again, not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this, the first word correctly, is Style, Stel, Nacht. I do know Nacht is German. Uh, so, as you can see, the label on the bottle is a little roughed up. Um, I got this from my old bottle shop that has since gone under, and that was back in August. Um, I did have this beer last year. And I believe that this is that same, uh, what do you want to say, uh, variant, if you will. Not even variant, but the year. And when I looked on Untapped and saw what I you know, had said, somehow I figured out that this was the 2020 version. So I'm going to just kind of assume all of that, that this is still the 2020 version. All right, so with that said, this comes in at 12% ABV. I do believe it is a dark, or I should say it's a, a strong Belgium beer at 12%. It should hold up very well. Um, yeah, every bottle that I had, so this is, I think, the third bottle I had, the label was always messed up. But, I mean, it's it's making its way across the world here, so... Stelnacht, otherwise known as Silent Night, because that's what this truly stands for, or is uh, it, it actually um, translated to. That's the word I'm looking for, translated. Silent Night is a prestige beer from the Del Dole Brewers, brewed for Christmas. It has a very potent beer. It has a very potent beer. So there's some issues with translation here. It has a very potent beer at 12% ABV. It has been boiling for many hours, brewed with pale malt with white candy sugar in the kettle. The nugget hops gives an extra bitterness to balance the extreme sweetness due to the density. The taste triangle is completed with some acidity of the fermentation. It is a very interesting beer to age. Well, there we go. We have samples of every bottling we have done so far and aging hasn't decreased the quality of this beer. Keep some samples at 10 degrees Celsius and mark the year on the cap with an alcohol marker. Cheers. Well, <clears throat> it's interesting. I wonder if that's truly coming straight from the brewery. Either way, Let's bust it open and see what we get. I do remember liking this. I don't remember what it tasted like. Also, yes, I know I'm not using the proper glassware to review, but it's Christmas Eve, so I wanted to use a Christmas-themed beer. So, like many Belgium beers that pours out a massive head. Um, unfortunately, with this glass, I can't quite tell exactly where it is, but it's looking to me like upwards of three fingers of, I'm going to say, off-white, soap sudsy, frothy head. Coloration is a very clear, 
Uh, I'm gonna go with golden color. feel as if at this point I'm just showing off the glass. I may as well. Again, another one of my favorite Christmas movies. Gotta love the Christmas story. Perfect. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get a nose on her through this thick foam. It's a very, very sweet and at the same time sour. Almost like I would say a, a sour uh, note more than the sweetness actually. I take the sweetness uh, comment back. It's a very sour, pungent note. Yeah, no, there is a sweetness there too. Um, but this is, I'd say, a very, very uh, sour, bitter note on the nose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really getting much of anything else other than that sourness. Sniffing the bottles. I'm getting more uh, sweetness out of that, more like candy, more that maybe the sugar that they added um, out of this glass, which, yeah, I know, it's not the right glass, but... Sweet and sour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet and sour. Um, primarily a, a sourness, though. All right. Let's dive in. Cheers. Hmm. Well, that's good. So medium body extremely carbonated. I mean, you could obviously tell with all this foam here. It was such a huge head. Um, it's a lively one. Uh, I already forget where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was definitely right with the uh, like a bitterness. It's, it's a very bitter beer. However, Unlike the, what did I just review yesterday, the um, Delirium Noel, this isn't extremely bitter and does actually have some sweetness to kind of counteract uh, and balance out that uh, bitterness. So up front, definitely hit with that bitterness, but there's also some nice floral notes to it. And then comes the uh, sweetness kind of on the back end with uh, as well as lingering and get um, sweetness kind of lingering. Yeah, it's like a candied I mean, it says it's using candied sugar, and, and I would say the sweetness there reminds me of, like, candy sugar. But, primarily, it is the uh, bitterness. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm never really sure uh, with, like, these type of Belgian beers. I'm, I don't get much more than floral notes and sweet notes. Now the quads, uh, quads uh, all over the place, but. All right, so the Del Di Dole Brewery's Silent Night is what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna give this a 3.8 out of five. So that's all, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've uh, had this before and what did you think of it? Until next time, peace, and get ready for Christmas.